Hello apples and cherries and welcome to your English for this week. It is so exciting that this term we are starting a new topic and we are talking about pirates. Can you give me your best arr? Amazing, you're going to be great pirates. So this week we will be thinking about different types of pirates and what they were and what they look like. So let's find out about what the tasks will be this week. So, all this week we are going to be building up our knowledge of pirates and different vocabulary about them. Now, vocabulary is lots of different words that we can learn to make our talking get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we will be learning facts about pirates and building on the different words that we can use when we talk about them. When we get to the end of the week, we will be able to write a description of our own pirate, what they look like, how they move, what sort of personality they have and about their ship. So, for the end of the week, we will be able to write a, write a couple of sentences with the correct key features, such as finger spaces, capital letters, full stops, and use our phonics to write the words in a phonically plausible way. So, use being able to Fred talk those words and everybody else being able to read them. And don't forget, when you are writing your sentences, you will be able to read back the words that you've written so you know which word comes next so that the sentences can make sense. Today, we are focusing on facts about pirates so that we can build up our vocabulary. Who can remember what vocabulary is? Superb. So vocabulary is building up the number of words that we can use on different subjects. So the subject that we are focusing on is pirates. So we will be building up the words that we know about pirates. So to be successful today, you will be able to describe a pirate you will also be able to recall facts about pirates, so you'll be able to tell other people facts about pirates, and you will even be able to name a famous pirate and tell someone a fact about them. So let's start with some general facts about pirates. Who were they? Pirates were people who sailed these seas and the oceans searching for treasure. Now, what is treasure? What do you think it could be? That's right, it could be money, it could be gold, it could be jewellery, special stones like rubies and rocks and diamonds. Pirates didn't just call this treasure, sometimes they would call it bounty. And they would say that they were looking for bounty or stealing bounty. And they would use this to sell and get more treasure for themselves or more money or to buy things that they wanted like ships. But pirates, they didn't care who they took the money or the treasure from. They just wanted to be the richest people in the world or the richest pirates who sailed the sea. <laughs> Pirates weren't very nice people. They would fight with other pirates to steal their boats and steal their treasure. So they didn't really care about making friends. They weren't very kind. All they cared about was their ship and their crew, so their friends that were on their ship, and finding more and more treasure or bounty to take to build up their wealth, so their wealth of things that they have. 
pirates also didn't have names like me or you. No, they wanted to be known as scary or have a very interesting name so that everyone would know who they were. So one of the most famous pirates was called Blackbeard and that's because he had a great big bushy black beard and later on in the week we will be finding out some more information about him. There were other names like Sparrow or there would be different names like Bonnie Ann or you could have Peg Leg. There's lots of different names that you could have for a pirate. Can you think of a good pirate name? Wow, they sound amazing and lots of them have got captain at the front because all of them wanted to be the captain of the ship because if you were the captain of the ship, you were in charge. Now, Pirates did have a lot of thoughts. They thought that it was very unlucky to have a woman on their ship. They believed that if a woman was on their ship, then they wouldn't be able to find as much treasure or steal as much bounty. But there were some women who still wanted to be pirates. So they would dress themselves up and pretend to be boys. And that way they would be allowed, be allowed to be part of the crew on pirate ships but there were some women who were just too good at being pirates and one of them was Anne Bonny. She was known as a fearsome pirate so lots of people were scared of her, lots of people were frightened of her and she sailed the Caribbean seas stealing bounty and making people scared of her. So this is a flag that you might find this, let's see this, here, this is a flag that you might find on a pirate ship. I wonder if anyone knows what this is. Well done, that is a skull. And does anyone know what these are? Amazing, these are bones and it's called a skull and crossbones. But this flag has a very special name. It was called the Jolly Roger. And most pirate ships hung these on the top of their ships. And I don't know, do you know why they did that? Yeah, that's a good idea. It could be that it's told other people around them that this ship was not a navy ship. It wasn't a merchant ship, so it wasn't a ship that was going to different countries to sell food or different objects. No, this flag would tell all the other ships on the ocean that this ship was a pirate ship. When other boats saw a pirate ship approaching with the Jolly Roger flag, they knew that trouble was ahead. Can anyone remember why other boats might be a little bit scared if they saw a pirate ship approaching? Have a think. Yeah, because they would probably be coming to try and steal the things from your ship and probably want to have a fight with you because pirates weren't very kind and they just wanted what they could take from you. So if you were a ship on the sea and you saw a, a pirate ship approaching with this Jolly Roger flag, I think you'd probably try to get away as quickly as you and could, wouldn't you? Some more. Pirates used to have parrots as pets. So they would be on their shoulder and what the parrots did was it would show other people how rich and how amazing that pirate was. So the higher the pirate was in its, in its crew, so whether or not it was the captain, or whether or not it was the captain's right-hand man, if it had a, par a parrot, you knew that they were a pirate not to be messed with. They had lots of money and they were very successful in their fights. Pirates also used to wear gold and silver jewellery. And they thought it was because wearing this type of jewellery, like earrings or necklaces or rings on their finger, they believed that this would help them make their eyesight better. Why do you think they would need their eyesight to be better? There's lots of different reasons. 
One could be that they needed to be able to see better so when they were fighting that they wouldn't get hurt with other people's swords or cutlasses. We'll find out they're called cutlasses. Or when they were on the sea and they were sailing, they needed to be able to see if there were any dangers ahead, if there were any rocks in the water that might hurt them, or if there was any land ahead that they could put their ship up against and go and see if there was anything to steal or any treasure or if there were any other boats in the ocean. Because if there was another pirate ship approaching, they might decide to leave them alone. But if it was a boat that was selling things, then they might think, yes, we're going to go and steal their treasure or their bounty. Also, pirates did wear an eye patch, but it wasn't because they lost an eye. No, they wore an eye patch because they would spend lots of their time in the dark. So even when they were sailing on the sea, they would have to sail the boat in the dark as well as in the day. So they would need their eyes to be really strong. They would also go into caves where it was really dark. And in those days when there was pirates, there was no torches or a phone that you could get a light up on. They used to have to use candles with a with a match and light some fire, but they didn't give out a lot of light. So they needed their eyes to be really strong when they were walking around in the dark. So pirates believed that if they put an eye patch over one eye, it made that eye used to being in the dark. And therefore, when they took it off, their eye would be stronger and help them see in the dark better. Maybe we could try that out later see whether or not covering up your eye for a little bit of time and then uncovering it in the dark whether you could see quicker. Mm. So here are some famous pirates and there were lots of famous pirates but I've chosen my favourite three. So the first one is the one that I mentioned earlier on. This was Blackbeard and as you can see in the picture he has got a great big bushy black beard. He was a very famous, very famous pirate. His real name was Edward Teach and he used to be in the army but he lost his job and then he decided I'm very good at being on the sea, I'm going to become a pirate. His favourite drink was something called rum. And pirates did like to drink a lot of rum. And it's an alcoholic drink, so it's not something that we should drink as um, all the time. And it's definitely something that children shouldn't drink. But he didn't he didn't mind that. And he drank it a lot. But he also mixed it with something called gunpowder. Does anyone know what gunpowder is used for? Amazing, yes, gunpowder was used in the cannons of ships. I don't think that that would taste very nice. He's a very strange man drinking that, isn't he? But also, Blackbeard, he was very, very famous and lots and lots of people liked him. So he ended up getting married 14 times. That is a lot of times to get married, isn't it? He was very, very popular. So the next pirate that we are looking at is someone called William Kidd. He was a very, very rich and well-respected privateer before he became a pirate. So he was very, very respected in towns, but he decided that actually, I don't want this anymore. I want to be a pirate. He was the only pirate to have ever buried treasure on Long Island in New York. So he was over in America. And although pirates did like to look for treasure in lots of different places, they also had so much treasure that they couldn't keep it all on their boats and they didn't want people to steal it. So they used to sometimes go to different places and bury their treasure. And that's where we get treasure maps from. And X marks the spot. Eventually, he was caught. Because he, as all pirates, he wasn't very nice and he used to steal from people and he used to fight with a lot of people. And eventually he was caught and they decided that he should not be around anymore. So that was William Kidd. And then the last pirate that we're looking at is the someone that I mentioned earlier. It was a woman who can remember who that famous woman pirate was. Well done. Her name was Anne Bonny. 
And she was very determined that she wanted to be a pirate, even though she was a girl. And why did why did other pirates not want to have women pirates on their boats? Excellent. Yeah, because they thought that it was very unlucky and they thought that they wouldn't be able to steal any money. Now, Anne Bonny proved lots of people wrong and she became a very, very fearsome and very, very scared pirate. She was friends with other female pirates and one of them was called Mary Reed and she came from Ireland. She would make sure when she started off that people didn't know that she was a female pirate before she proved herself. So she would make sure she disguised herself. She made herself not look like herself and she disguised, disguised herself as a man. And that way she was allowed onto the boats and no one knew she was a woman. Okay. I have a challenge for you now, apples and cherries. And your challenge is to think about these three questions. Your first question. What does a pirate look like? What do they wear? And what might they sound like? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about that. What does a pirate look like, wear or sound like? And once you've thought about that, can you go and tell someone? Amazing. So pirates, they often looked a bit dirty, didn't they? They'd have big beards. They'd wear some funny clothes. They didn't look like us. They don't wear the clothes that we wear. If they were very rich, they'd have a parrot. And they sounded, they would do a really good, Arrgh! like that, wouldn't they? Well done. Okay, your next challenge question. Can you tell someone one fact you have learnt about a pirate today? So there's been lots of facts. Can you tell someone one fact you have learnt about a pirate today? Amazing. So you could tell people about the eye patches, why pirates wore eye patches. You could tell people about why women weren't allowed on pirate ships. You could tell people about what the word bounty means. There's lots of different facts. And if you're a little bit unsure, you can go back in this PowerPoint and find out some more information. And your last challenge question for today. Can you name a famous pirate and tell someone a fact about them. So we've thought about three famous pirates today. Can you remember one of their names and a fact about them? Excellent. So there was three pirates. There was Blackbeard, who had a great big bushy black beard, and there was William Dunn, and there was Anne Bonny, and I would be really interested to know what your facts were about them. If you found this really interesting today and you want to know more about pirates, you could ask who you are at home with if you could have a little look on the internet and find out some more facts about pirates. But I hope you've enjoyed today and I'm looking forward to tomorrow where we'll find out even more facts. And I think we're focusing on pirates clothes and outfits tomorrow. How exciting. Have a good day.